Last week, I launched a new YouTube channel. It was a project that I really wanted to launch in the last few months, so shooting the first video was like super exciting, honestly. On top of that, I got super great feedback from this video, so yeah, life's cool. But after watching my first video, many people asked me this question, what is your YouTube channel about? And for some of them, it sounded a bit like, um, who are you? Very good question. This is why I decided to make this second video about who I am, why I decided to start a YouTube channel and what this channel is about. Hey, before we start, you will see that below the video, there is a red button where it says subscribe. Click on it. Just click on the button. ID's on the kill. <laughs> so it all started, I think, about eight or nine years ago. I was in high school and one of my friends, who's now my best friend, told me about a program called FL Studio. Yeah, it hurts now, but I started everything on FL Studio. <laughs> At that time, I was already in love with music. I was a guitar player, I also loved to sing. It stinks! And I remember that my dream was clearly to work in music later on. So I started doing some stuff with my brand new FL Studio. Uh, it was mostly electro or EDM music, but it lasted for like a year or two. Then I stopped making music. I was like, this is totally unrealistic. No one lives right in the music business. I'm done with this. But actually nothing was over because very soon after I discovered hip hop music and it changed everything. So I reopened my good old FL studio, but this time it was to make rap instrumentals. And fun fact, I found my very first one. Perfect beats. And even though at that time I was super motivated and spent a lot of time making beats, I was still convinced that it would remain a patient and not a profession. Until at the end of high school, I came across the website of an audiovisual school and they were teaching sound. So I was like, I love music, I make beats, let's go for it, Let, let's give it a shot. And so after passing the entrance test, uh, I did three years of studying in the sound field. During this time, I was constantly looking for what I really liked in the sound field. I knew I liked what sounded clean to my ears. I liked music, the notes, the melodies, the, the chords, but I also loved to fiddle with knobs and faders and create universes from there. In the end, I realized that my passion is music mixing. And quite quickly, thanks to the magic of the internet, I started working for different small rappers around the world. The cool thing at that time is that besides becoming a huge patient, I realized that I'm pretty good at mixing. Very cool. From there, I decided to do a master in mixing, mastering, uh, recording, editing, some writing. It was all about the studio stuff. And this year was pretty cool and chill because they were like, one or two days of classes per week and it was very much focused on practical work and less on theory. So I took the opportunity to increase my client list to make my studio more efficient for music mixing. And without really knowing it, I was building the foundations of my business in music mixing. And after all these years, here I am as a professional mix engineer. Yes, sir. And I will tell you one thing. I love this life. ID's on the kill. But in my everyday life, I don't only do mixing for singers, rappers, uh, artists. What I also love in this field is to help people to become better at mixing music, to teach them from the basics to the most complicated things. I really enjoy doing it. That's why I created a blog on my website, idstudio.com. I think it was a year ago. But the big problem with these articles is this. People hate to read. That's a fact and I'm sure you agree with that completely. When you Google something and your answer seems to be in, let's say, a blog post and in a video, by instinct you will click on the video. It's so much easier. So I was more and more convinced that people interested in music mixing needed a more accessible and easier way to learn more about this topic. So YouTube was clearly the best option for me. and for you. Also, I love making videos. It's something I've always enjoyed doing. I also like to talk about what I'm passionate about. So that's why I created this YouTube channel. 
If I had to answer this question in one sentence, I would say it's about mixing pop and hip hop music. And to take it a step further, I would say it's about vocal mixing in pop and hip hop music because I think 70% of my future videos will be about vocal mixing. So, but I will also talk about other topics that are more specific or just broader, but I will always be directly related to music mixing. I think that I have really interesting tips to take in this field and that I can teach them through this YouTube channel in a unique and well-structured way, which is not always the case on YouTube. So if you're into hip hop and pop mixing and you really want to improve, my only advice is to subscribe. You won't be disappointed. I swear. So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed learning more about me and the goals of my YouTube channel. Next week, we'll talk about a topic that will be of great interest to you if you produce or mix hip hop music. That's something that is really the foundation of the hip hop sound. But I won't tell you more for now. See you next week. Bye.